The top 10 strategic technology trends are key trends that the enterprise cannot afford to ignore. You can't ignore them because they have significant potential for impact and disruption on enterprises over the next five years. As we look at the top 10 trends, we categorize them into three big themes that link together. It's all about the growth of the intelligent digital mesh. Intelligence is a very important set of trends to look at. There's three key trends. First is AI foundation, and that tells it all right there. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is increasingly a foundation component of all of the applications and all of the services and all of the things in our world around us, which leads us to the two sub subsidiary trends, intelligent apps and analytics and intelligent things. When we look at intelligent apps and analytics, you have to focus on where we're going to add intelligent capabilities to those systems. Think of intelligent user interface with things like conversational interfaces we'll talk about later. Think of intelligent actions so your applications themselves have autonomous processes. And look at how AI improves the business intelligence and analytical systems for end users and enhancing what data scientists do. And as we look at all of this, I want you to think of that term AI not just as artificial intelligence and robotic things replacing people, but think augmented intelligence and assisting humans. And finally, I want you to think of swarms or collaborative intelligence, multiple intelligent things, drones, robots, uh, autonomous vehicles working cooperatively together. It's that collaborative notion and the augmented notion that really can drive powerful AI capabilities in the future. Our second theme is digital, and this is all about merging the real world and the virtual world into this combined digital experience. As we do this, the world of the Internet of Things we've talked about for some time starts us out with the theme of digital twin. These are digital representations of real world things, and we can operate on these digital representations to drive better maintenance and repair and operations of physical assets and otherwise have a digital representation of the real world. This takes us to the next trend, which is cloud to the edge. We've got to think about edge computing and using the processing power at the edge, these edge devices that we hold in our hand or are in the Internet of Things, or near servers by that that can act as gateways. And so when you think of cloud, think of cloud as a style of computing, not a physical delivery system. So we'll have far away cloud services, cloud services that will deliver capabilities to near servers and out onto the edge as well. So we've got to think of this distributed computing environment. And finally, the last two trends are looking at conversational systems and immersive experience. And when we look at those, the conversational systems are about how we interact with systems. So we're going to interact through language and other types of systems. Uh, on the immersive experience, it's about artificial and virtual reality and mixed reality and how we perceive the digital world. Between those two, the user interface you think of today will radically change over the next five years for the apps you buy and the applications you build. Our third theme in the top 10 is the mesh. The mesh is really all about connections, dynamic connections of people, processes, applications, technologies, and devices. The first trend that we have here is blockchain. Blockchain is all about creating a shared, distributed, immutable ledger with cryptographic validation of the transactions that go on the ledger. The key value of, uh, of blockchain is really the fact that it isn't tied to an individual enterprise or an individual application. It deals with the connections across that in a very dynamic way to reduce, reduce technical friction and reduce business friction. Our second trend deals with event processing. Now, we've typically used request-driven models. We call services with APIs, and we link them together in some more rigid ways, and that'll be necessary for certain things. But for this dynamic world that I've been talking about around the top 10 with IoT and other things, this notion of event processing in a more flexible and dynamic way of linking things together is important. So you want to think of event processing and request-driven mechanisms as equal citizens in your development portfolio in the way that you orchestrate services. Finally, think of continuous adaptive risk and trust. That's our final trend, and it looks at the mental model you've got to have around security. It's this continuous adaptive process. There's two key things that are really new and interesting that you particularly want to look at here. One is this notion of DevSecOps. So bring development and operations together for DevOps, but insert security into that whole process as well. And finally, think of deception technologies. Deception technologies are taking this age-old notion of a honeypot, 
Now, if you set up these fake servers or fake applications, your users are never going to get to that in the normal course of the day. But if you've been penetrated and you don't know it, those bad guys might be going after them and then you can highly identify that the bad guys are in your network. So think of deception technologies and DevSecOps as two new things that you've got to take a close look at in the coming uh, year. Your future is the intelligent digital mesh. Intelligent capabilities increasingly forming the backbone of all of your systems. Digital, creating this digital business and digital ecosystem future, where we're merging the real and the virtual world together into the future digital reality. And the mesh that looks at maximizing and optimizing the connections between people and processes and technologies. That is your future.